Hey everybody, Mark Larson here, Chief Brick Officer of Brickworld. Got a couple announcements regarding Brickworld this year. A lot of people are asking if we still plan to hold the event in June, and the answer is yes. We absolutely plan to hold our event this coming June. We are monitoring the situation very closely as it comes with the COVID-19 response, and we'll update all of our registered attendees and our mailing list as soon as we have any information, if plans are to change. Right now, plans are to keep the show as scheduled. The only thing that would stop us from doing so would be if the governor of Illinois extends the ban on public gatherings. What we will be doing at this year's convention is improving our communication about public safety and social distancing. We'll also have many measures in place for people to make sure that they're staying safe and healthy during the show. At Brickworld, our main concern is public safety, and we will be taking extra measures this year to make sure that everybody feels safe and healthy during the event. Artwork. This year's artwork, here it is. And this is not what we will be using. The feedback I've gotten is that it's too busy. I think I had an overestimation on the general public's awareness of MC Escher's relativity. Uh, so it's back to the drawing board with the artwork, although this took me a long time doesn't mean that it worked out. So back to the drawing board with the artwork. If you have registered for the event, or even if you haven't registered for the event and plan to, uh, start thinking about your display space, start thinking about any leader roles you would like, if you'd like to lead a set draft, if you want to lead a presentation, if you have a workshop you want to lead, you can log into your Brickworld account once you are registered and go to My Leader Roles to sign up for any activity that you wish to lead. And we have some pre-sale items for purchase, like our uh, exclusive event set. To get further updates on this year's event, you can go to brickworld.com. You can check out our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. If you want to hover your phone over the handy QR code that I'm putting up on the screen right now, you can even join our mailing list and get direct messages from us uh, with reminders and updates about the event. Other announcements. Right now we are running a Make-A-Wish fundraiser on Facebook. We have a message here from our Make-A-Wish partners. Uh, how Make-A-Wish is responding to COVID-19. In light of current medical and public concerns, Make-A-Wish is taking urgent and deliberate steps to ensure the health and safety of all Wish kids and their families, as well as our partners and supporters like you. To protect the health of Wish kids and their families, we are pausing Wish granting that involves travel or gatherings until it is safe to resume. Our organization is working quickly to ensure clear and compassionate communication to wish families, employees, and supporters around the globe, while also maintaining the continuity of our critical miss mission. Messages of hope. If you are looking for a fun activity to do during this time, we would love for you to participate in our social media campaign, Messages of Hope, to help spread joy and hope to our wish kids during this time. It's easy to participate. Just create a video, photo, or whatever creative way you come up with to share a message of hope. Post your message to social media with the hashtag WishesAreWaiting. It'd be really fun for our community to build some fun messages of hope out of Lego bricks and post those to social media with the hashtag WishesAreWaiting. If you friend me, Mark Larson Rickworld, on Facebook, you can join in our fundraiser. I'd like to raise $1,000 for Make-A-Wish before April 30th. Anybody who contribute would be much appreciated uh, as wishes are being paused right now. Uh, we'd like to remind these people that there are a lot of people out there who care about them and love them and want them to have their wishes granted. We are running a giveaway on our Facebook page and we are giving away a mint and sealed box, Lego Space Monorail. Now I know what you're thinking, it's April 1st, this is probably a joke, and you'd be right, because this is just an empty box, there's nothing in it. April Fools, sorry. Um, what we are giving away, because at least the giveaway is real, is a mint and sealed box, original Fabuland Big House, Anybody who knows me knows that I'm not giving that away, but third time's the charm. We will be giving away, and this is serious this time, we will be giving away the Lion Dance set. We have three of these to give away. 
and you can believe me this time, this is real. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is go to the link to our Facebook post, which is in the description of this video, and post a comment on the Facebook post with a creation that you're working on right now. You have until, let me see, April 8th, till midnight Central Standard Time on April 8th to post a picture of what you've been working on Lego-wise during your uh, quarantine. And we will randomly draw three people from those comments to receive the Lion Dance. This is a really cool set. It's got some unique pieces, some fun colors. There's a lion and a rat and a guy playing the drums and that guy is playing the cymbals. And so again, go to the link to the Facebook post in the description of this video, post a picture of the creation that you've been working on during quarantine. You have until midnight CST, April 8th. We'll draw three winners on April 9th, so this isn't a contest. We're not judging any creations you're posting. All you have to do is post a creation. It has to be at least 10 bricks. You can't just throw two bricks together and say it's your creation. At least 10 bricks, at least 10 bricks, a creation made of at least 10 bricks, and we'll randomly draw. We will randomly draw three people from those comments to receive the Lion Dance set. If you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. We're going to be starting to put up a fun series of videos about designing. Our first video was about how to build round. We built this tower. Uh, so check that out. We'll be putting up some other ones soon. This coming Tuesday, we're going to have a video about building a truss bridge. So check that out on Tuesday. Uh, here are some of the comments and questions we got. Um, my sister and mother said they miss my smile. So there. Uh, so my husband said I need to use brighter colors. Okay. There, Matt. Thank you for the comment. Uh, Josh Lemieux on Facebook asks if I'm taking requests. Well, Josh Lemieux, if that is your real name. Of course we'll take requests. Anybody who wants to see a specific video, please make, make a suggestion. I can't promise that I would fulfill every request, uh, but I'd certainly like to know what people want to see. So yes, please make your requests. Over on YouTube, we have a comment from uh, Zcerberus19, whoever that is. Uh, he says, the host guy is adorable. Oh, oh, thank you. And he asks, what's behind the curtain? Um, uh, well, there's a wall. Hold on. There's not a lot of room in here because most of this room is filled with unsorted Lego bricks. There is a wall. Is that, is that better? Do you like that better? Z Cerberus 19. And finally, also from YouTube, we have a comment from Mr. Beast, and he says, let's be friends. Well, okay, let's be. Friend me on Facebook, Mark Larson Brickworld. You can also follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Instagram, you can follow us on Twitter. If you hover your phone over the QR code that's up on the screen right now, you can join our mailing list. And as always, you can check out information about Brickworld Fan Convention and all of our other LEGO Expos on Brickworld.com. Subscribe to this channel for more announcements and exciting news coming from Brickworld in the near future. I don't know, the, the rats decapitated somebody? What is it? What is happening here?